release date for Steve Martin's remake of The Pink Panther has officially been pushed back half a year. Insiders say the producers made the change after realizing that Peter Sellers was only halfway through rolling over in his grave. <laughs> And did you hear this? Brad and Angelina's movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, debuted in the number one spot, which in official box office terminology is known as a reverse gili. <laughs> Janice Dickinson, crackhead. Come on. Mm. Was she you really, gotta give me a little more. Was she really a crackhead? I mean, she was doing coke in my walk-in closet. Right. Come on out here, Janice! <laughs> You, you actually have an entourage. <laughs> you, P. Diddy, Snoop Dogg, you got people. I, no, I don't really have peeps. I had to rent them. Like uh... We're just sitting here like we don't even know Britney Spears is pregnant. She's pregnant? Pregnant with a child. You can get pregnant from blowing someone? <laughs> and so it begins. Okay, so something no one likes to hear. Entourage cuts. It's harsh, but MJ, you could probably hold your own umbrella. And Tyson, you might want to lose everyone associated with you. I mean, you're not broke from good advice. <laughs> you see, before I became involved in politics, my life was a mess. My nudity was lacking a powerful socio-political message. <laughs> but now, now I see myself as a cross between Che Guevara and Will Ferrell's character in Old School. Hey, ever want to smell like the town bicycle? <laughs> and you're gonna love it! This one is Paris Hilton's fragrance, cleverly called Paris Hilton. And Kevin Federline has admitted that he didn't tell Britney Spears he loved her until he was sure she felt the same way. He added that he was afraid of saying anything wrong out of fear it would affect his allowance. <laughs> so Usher is giving back by creating a charity aimed at disadvantaged kids interested in sports and entertainment. Disadvantaged kids interested in anything else can f 